What the? Now why in the world? Hashtag engineers don't use the stuff they engineer. Now I have no idea why when engineers came up with the bed design of the 1000, the 1005, the 700, and the 704, they designed it so that in the down position the tailgate is not completely flat with the bed. Now you may not think that's a big deal and in the three seater 1000 and in the five seater with the seats folded down you know, it probably really isn't that big of a deal that this is at a slant because you have all this flat room up here. But for us 1005 owners or 704 owners, when the seats are up is when we run into a problem. And that problem comes from the limited storage space we have when our seats are up. I mean, we have very little room here to store stuff. And because of that, a lot of people will run something like a bed extender that extends out and adds this tailgate into usable storage space as well. But when your tailgate doesn't go clear flat and it's at an angle like this, then that kind of makes it harder to store things. You now you run a garbage can in here. It doesn't want to <coughs> sit flat or there's enough of an angle it's going to want to shove your nozzle into the back of the seats. You throw a cooler in here, it's not going to sit back tight. And because you can't get the get objects up closer to the back of the seats, you get a lot of dead space here where, I mean, short of a few toe straps or something soft, you really can't do much with. And if you do run the bed extender, well, because it's going to set up on here, it's not going to be able to set flat across the edge here, which might mean if you have smaller items you just threw in there just for a quick trip around the barn or to the shed or something, chances are it might fall out underneath the bottom rail of your bed extender because it's not setting flat. Well, this small, howbeit, very annoying flaw in the tailgate design can be easily fixed with a pair of these extended tailgate support brackets. Now, these brackets come from Pioneer switch panels and accessories, which if you remember from earlier videos, I installed a couple switch panels on both my 500 and my 1005 from there. And Justin makes these extended brackets the same way he does the switch panels. 16 gauge steel, laser cut, and powder coated for a long, durable finish. Now installing these brackets are super easy. And all they require is a 10 millimeter socket or wrench and an H5 Allen key or socket extension, something like that. And all that's required here is removal of these two bolts. This one Allen bolt here that holds the wire fast. And it's a simple unbolt the old, bolt in the new installation. And to show you how fast these go, I'm going to do something different I haven't done here before. I am going to use my stopwatch and I'm actually going to time how long it takes me to swap these out. So sit back, enjoy this music, as I'm sure I'm going to speed this up. So, I'll put that down, we'll get my wrench, and let's get to work. Little side note here, if you have a deep well socket, it is going to work a little better up next to where the actual wire attaches. Continuing on. Now these bolts are what hold your latch handle on to to secure your tailgate in the up position. So you kind of want to keep a hand down here below to hold on to those while you swap this out. Now as you can see these guys are angled and so you, always, you want the angle to be pointing towards the front of the machine. Before I tighten that down I'm going to make sure my latch still lines up pretty good. And we can adjust it a little bit as needed. 
I'll go ahead and tighten this guy down. So as you guys can see here, I just took five and a half minutes to install those brackets working at a slow leisurely pace. And as you guys can see, them brackets don't interfere with how the tailgate closes and latches whatsoever. And I will point out here too, if for whatever reason you want your tailgate to have that slanted angle to it again, Justin does cut a second hole in here that you can attach the wire and it'll give you the same factory angle as what the factory brackets do. But why you'd want that, I don't know, but it's your machine and you can have your own reasons for doing it the way you want to do it. So there you go, another quick, easy, simple upgrade you can do to your Pioneer 700, 704, 1000, or 1005 to make it just a little more practical. These extended tailgate brackets are another great product from Pioneer switch panels and accessories. They only cost 20 bucks shipped to your door and only take five and a half minutes to install. So if you want to get a hold of Justin an order set for your Pioneer, then I'll leave a link in my description below that will head you right over to his Facebook page and you can message him through that. Or you can get a hold of Justin on HondaSideBySide.com as username Mystic1219. Well guys, if I don't fall asleep here now that I have a flat lying surface, I'm going to haul a little bit of firewood today. So until next time, remember, it doesn't matter what you ride, as long as you ride. So keep on riding.